Hello guys, Balgor with you here, and today I'm doing a special on Minecraft Hunger Games. The tournament begins in 30 seconds. This is a tutorial mostly for how to fight better if you're a noob, and how to hotkey soup. Basically the idea is you're going to want to put your sword or weapon on 1, and then you're going to want to put your soup from 2 to 7 or 2 to 8 if you can reach. And what you're going to be wanting to do is find the swamp at the beginning before the tournament starts. As you can see I've determined it's southeast. Run there and grab as much as you can. If uh, it's nearby, which it, it kind of is for this one, uh, you should be able to grab 10 of each mushroom and make a wooden sword before your 2 minutes of invincibility is up. The 2 minutes of invincibility is critical time, so uh, you might as well run there because soup will refill your food anyway. Note that jumping while running uh, increases your movement speed. So anyway, the idea of fighting once you have soup is healing mid-combat. It's the only food that does so. All other foods just replenish hunger, which replace your health over time. So I spend the first minute or so trying to gather as many mushrooms as I can. Get a variety of each. As I mentioned, it's ideal if, if you get 10 of each or more. Um, obviously, every time you're not going to be able to if everyone swarms the swamp and or just lag and things like that. But uh, you should be able to do all right. So it doesn't matter what kit you are. Uh, combat doesn't really matter. Boxer helps absorb damage, so that's a, a good one if you're having a, a trouble with some early game. So basically, I'm not going to show this video to try and win, I'm just going to try and get in combat with soup and uh, show you guys how to hockey. The idea is, you're going to want to, let's see if I can get a stone sword out. If you're going to go for a stone sword, don't make a wooden sword, don't waste your time. I have 30 seconds. Normally I would get a stone pick too, but I want to be able to make soup, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, so now I have only enough for one bowl, which is very bad, because four soups is not very much. But um, hopefully I'll battle some noobs, and you guys will be able to see what this is all about. So, as you can see, I have my soup and my stone sword before invincibility is worn off. Have a quick look around you always. Um, if you're still going to be crafting, make sure you look around. So in combat, you're going to want to press 1 and 2 together at the same time, sort of left and right click. And um, that's basically the best way to do it. And then your middle finger is going to want to be on, on forward so that you can um, click the numbers as you can see that I was doing there. And um, your ring finger is going to want to stay on one. And then your other finger is going to, uh, your index finger is going to be switching numbers. So as you can see, I won the combat. Always reload your soups after combat. So anyway, sorry, I was uh, kind of distracted fighting while explaining. You're going to press 1 and 2 at the same time. So that way it's, um, you're blocking while defending. And then you're going to just want to press 4, 5, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1 until you drink your soups during combat. That way, um, while you're left and right clicking at the same time, you'll drink soup anyway. You don't have to worry about right clicking and left clicking only when swinging and switching to soup. Sorry, my explanation was kind of stuttered and uh, I was kind of like paused during the, the fighting. But anyway, I just uh, wanted to make this quick video to show you that it worked. Uh, as you can see, I beat the first guy. I didn't quite beat the second guy. I was a little distracted, but um, if you practice at it, you'll be good enough to compete with most people, and especially if you get to the swamp and then leave the swamp right away and fight people who don't have swamp um, soup, rather, you will be able to defeat most people who don't have soup, even people wearing iron, and then you can steal their armor, and you don't have to turtle in the bottom of the map and make your own stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial.